Okay, good morning, everybody. Thanks very much for joining us. Uh, we're here at the ZT booth at MWC 24 in Barcelona, of course. Uh, my name is Ray Lemaitre. Uh, I am the editorial director of Telecom TV. I'm the moderator here for this panel this morning, and we've got a great panel uh, of speakers, so welcome, everybody. Uh, and to help everybody know what's, uh, who is speaking here today, I'm going to ask our speakers to introduce themselves. So, uh, Ben, let's start with you. Thank you, Ray. Good morning. My name is Ben Panic. I'm the Vice President of the Telco Center of Excellence for Red Hat. Okay, thank you, Ben. Wang. Okay, good morning. Uh, my name is Wang Chuan. I'm Vice President of ZTE, and I'm in charge of the global marketing for the core network. Okay, thank you. Eduardo. Hello, good morning, everybody. My name is Eduardo Gutierrez. I'm the Wireless Operations Director for EASY. Hello, good morning, and thank you for being here. My name is Israel Madiedo. I'm an innovation technology for EASY. For those of you actually not knowing who EASY is, we're the largest uh, MSO in Mexico. Okay, thanks, everybody. So, I mean, pretty much the, the topic we're talking about here today is the uh, the importance of uh, 5G cloud native core innovation, which of course is really important to, to every operator uh, in the world right now. Um, so, uh, Ben and Wang, if I can start with you. Uh, Red Hat and ZTE have been in a, a collaboration on this topic. How did that collaboration come about? Well, ZTE is one of our key partners globally. We've been working very closely with them for many years now. And you know, listening to the clients, listening to what the industry is looking for, the leveraging of open source technologies is something that we hear from our clients. Working with ZTE, especially around 5G and the wireless side of the network, is something that we have been focusing on from an engineering through to a product management perspective. We see that the criticality of 5G continues to grow for our operators and they were looking for a strong partnership and that's where Red Hat and ZTE have come together to work on this. Okay, and, and Wang, how important is this relationship to ZTE? Okay, I think uh, about the collaboration between ZTE and Red Hat, uh, it is based on some fundamental understanding that many operators, they actually want uh, three-level decoupling architecture in their networks because it's open and it's flexible. They can choose uh, applications, platforms, and hardware from different vendors. So there will be less vendor locking. And uh, actually, I also think it is one of the main reasons why we introduce virtualization and uh, cloudification technology into the core network. Okay. So of course, um, you know, it's great to have uh, partnerships in the industry, but the partners want customers. And here we have a customer uh, with uh, uh, Izzy. So if we can come to the customers here. Um, Eduardo, why did Izzy choose this partnership between Red Hat and, and ZTE? And can you share some insights about you know, what this solution has meant to you, how you're able to operate, what it means for your customers? Definitely. Well, let me start first by saying that at EC, we truly believe that there is a need, an urgent need, to sell something beyond simple connectivity. We really are keen on delivering experiences, and experiences that are, help us to take that sense of our subscribers of being at home while they are in the go. And that is not easy. That is definitely not easy, and to do that, you really need a flexible, open platform. And it's very difficult to envision for the future all the services and all the flows and the customer journeys that you will need. So that's why the platform has to be convergent. It has to be future-proof. And it also has to be standard-based. So we found in this joint collaboration solution those attributes that can help us to do something completely different from what we traditionally see in the market. Okay. And Israel, this kind of uh, the solution that's been delivered by Red Hat and ZTE, what does that mean for uh, how a company like yourselves is able to deploy this really important next generation core platform? And 
and how does that impact the, the customers, what you're able to deliver to customers? That, that's a very important question, Ray, because uh, we have been working with uh, ZTE and Red Hat for some time now. We have deployed several projects in Mexico very successfully, and um, now it's the time to move into the mobile arena. We're an MBNO, so and we're trying to bring the best solutions, as Eduardo mentioned, to our customers uh, as, as a quad play operator. So it only makes sense to actually extend what we have been already working on the fixed side to the mobile side and have a real convergent environment. Uh, we have been cloud native in, in certain platforms for some years now, four or five years, and uh, it came the moment in to, you know, taking a decision on what's the next step and how do we make a, uh, the best out of what we already have, but also thinking about the new deployment, the new core, and how to interlace everything. So for us, it was um, quite a visionary kind of approach working with both ZTE and Red Hat and looking forward to achieve that. Uh, everyone has been talking about convergence forever. I, I remember, I mean, being in this show 10 years ago when everyone was like convergence. Well, uh, we do believe that it's coming in and uh, we need it to be ready. So uh, it's, it's, it's quite a journey, definitely. And has it met your expectations? I mean, do, ha, have things gone as you expected? Has, has it delivered what you needed? So far. <laughs> so far, so good. Now, yeah, we are uh, we're having a great support for, from both companies. And Eduardo, who's in charge of this uh, deployment, uh, all of us in the rest of the engineering departments and technology were supporting him. But definitely, uh, we sense that commitment from both City and Red Hat to make this successful. Okay, excellent. Um, so let's dive a little bit deeper into exactly what this collaboration is bringing to the market. Um, you know, what would you say, uh, Ben, are the uh, sort of the, the key highlights, the key strengths of this joint solution that you have with ZTE? Well, I think firstly, we're going through a paradigm shift in the market. You know, we've seen that over the past years as we've moved through the virtualization era and now into the cloudification of the applications. And one of the things that I'll pick up on is, you know, we're not done with this. And I think that's the exciting part for Izzy and for the industry is that through the open source technologies that Red Hat delivers with ZTE, you know, we're building these platforms that are going to enable Izzy and other clients globally to deliver new applications, to drive new revenue streams. You know, as Eduardo said, not to just be providing carriage, right, to be able to differentiate services in the market. For me, I think that's really exciting, you know, having been in the industry for many years, for us to be able to generate new revenue services, to increase, you know, the wallet share that we have from consumers and businesses is one of the highlights. I'm also seeing that clients are looking to partners like ZTE and Red Hat to be able to help them de-risk the deployment of the solution, and I think that's where the work that we've done at an engineering level with our partner ecosystem team to be able to come together with ZTE and provide that resilient solution that Izzy can build their business off is really important. Okay. And, and Wong, what kind of capabilities um, is this joint solution delivering to operators like Izzy? What, what, what is it giving them that they haven't had before? Okay, I think one of the most important highlights in this joint solution is that in this solution, ZT can provide not only the software for the core network, we can also provide the end-to-end -end integration for the entire project. Uh, we can do this because first uh, we have a very deep understanding about uh, Red Hat's product futures. Second, we actually have a dedicated laboratory to validate and to test every new version released by Red Hat and uh, from ZTE. Through all the projects we have already successfully deployed in the worldwide and the Red Hat platform, Actually, we have already built uh, experts and uh, experienced team. And of course, uh, with uh, support from Red Hat, uh, this team can get everything done smoothly and uh, efficiently. Okay, thank you. So, uh, you know, it's a, it's a new kind of platform. It's a, it's a new era for, for service providers. Um, looking to uh, advance their portfolios, give more to customers. But of course, 
at the same time, greater efficiency and greater agility is needed in what the operators are doing. So, uh, Eduardo, if I can come to you first and, and ask about you know, how this, the implementation of this joint solution uh, happened, how it compared to you know, previous uh, generations, how different is it, and what kind of uh, efficiency improvements have you seen? Well, Ray, let me first start by saying that I'm very personally sensitive in a certain way because I live with a legacy product. And this legacy product places us in a very rigid and unreliable paradigm, I would say. And as you can imagine, for us, the most important thing are customers and the service that we're providing. So living with an unreliability, it's just very painful. There are like a lot of first of opportunity in the way we currently manage this legacy solution. Um, not only in the way we manage the resources, but also the way we operate and troubleshoot, and the way we create new services. So far with the deployment that we're doing with ZTE and Red Hat, it's been just amazing. It's, it's really difficult to, to see something going as flawless as this. And I believe it's also, the, again, back to the fact of flexibility, openness, standardization. It's, it's amazing to see how fast, impressively fast, the deployment is going. And I'm also completely relying that as we move forward and go beyond the deployment and the integration into the creation of these new customer journeys, things are going to still help us to really come up with new services really fast Really simple, and again, with reliability, and fixing all these gaps that we have today in the current, in the current environment. Okay, and Israel, it's obviously you know, relatively early in the journey, but you're obviously looking some way ahead and thinking what you can do in the future, how you can better serve your customers. How do you expect this deployment and this relationship to, to help transform the, the way you work and what kind of benefits do you expect in the, in the future? Uh, totally, I believe um, we are working right now in the basis for something larger than just a single project or just a single line of product or just an, another kind of access network. This is a journey of uh, service delivery. We're, we're thinking about how we're going to be uh, cross-selling services uh, going among any and all of our networks, but having a foundation, as Eduardo mentioned, on something that is reliable and it's flexible and it's expendable, uh, it's, it's quite you know, an adventure in terms that you need to develop a lot of new skills from the team and uh, you need to change mindsets and, and, and tell everyone, hey, by the way, guys, we're going to be doing this in another kind of way uh, because we're going to be able to do more in the coming future. So we need to take everything into account, the deployment of the current project, how it's going to be operated, how we're going to be providing the best service, and at the same time, what else are we going to be doing on this platform? And that's why we are um, you know, working a lot with the, the local teams in, in Mexico, with Red Hat and ZTE, in terms of what else can we do? How do we link this to the other networks, to the fixed part? How we're going to be doing this convergence dream again? Uh, how do we follow standards and how do we keep openness in the platforms, which is key? And that's something that we uh, took a lot of time and invested a lot of research before going into the project. We're following a lot of uh, broadband forum as well, and uh, we know that there are going to be certain interesting points in, in the middle. But at least we know that, uh, technology speaking, we have the tools to actually develop this new relationship among services and networks. Okay, excellent. Well, you know, we've been hearing for years about uh, you know, cloud native deployments, the evolution of 5G and the, the, the impact the 5G core will have. But what's really good is to see this actually happening in action. Here's a customer using solution that's been developed in partnership and partnerships have been talked up so much in recent years how important collaboration it is. So it's great to see this actually happening in action and to hear from the customers as well. So I hope that uh, everybody here has uh, enjoyed the, the insights from Red Hat, ZTE, and uh, Izzy. And let's give all of our speakers a, a big round of applause. Great, great conversation. Thank you.
Thank you, Ray. Thank you. Thank you.